Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mr. Herm with the US Engineering League. Today we're gonna to learn how to code a USEL sumo bot to drive in a square. Hey everybody. All right, so we're here with our coding software open and we're gonna create some code to make a square. So I'm starting off with a little note right here so that way when I'm coding, I can remember which motor um, is plugged into which port, right? So M1 is gonna be my left motor, M2 is gonna be my right motor. Okay, so we're gonna start off, we always have to go into this section. Remember, this is where I choose my different coding options. So I'm gonna get my matrix mini, begin, and drag it in, because we always need this to start. This is like the, the start code execute command. So as soon as I flip on that power switch on my matrix, it should execute any codes that are underneath this block here. Okay, and so we're gonna be doing code to drive in a square. So a square has four equal sides. And we can actually complete a square using just basically two movement codes, right? Um, we need to drive straight. And then if we're going on a counterclockwise, we need to drive straight and then turn right 90 degrees. Or we can go counterclockwise and drive straight and go 90 degrees left. So we're gonna just go uh, clockwise. So that way we're gonna turn right. Um, so with that being said, the first thing we need to do is grab a repeat block because we're going to just repeat um, two main movements over and over okay so we're going to grab a repeat block put it in here and we're going to tell our code to repeat these movements four times so that way we can get all the way around the square okay the first movement we need is to move straight and in in uh in m block in order to get your robot to move straight you're going to go ahead and grab your motors right so I'm gonna, I have two motors. Um, they come standard default M1. So I have my left motor on M1, my right motor on M2. And to get your robot to drive straight, you just need to make it go the same speed, both motors. So I'm gonna turn my speed all the way up to 100. And we should be good. So now my robot's driving straight. But I'm, my robot doesn't know how far to drive straight. So we're gonna tell it to drive for a set amount of time. So we're gonna tell our robot to go ahead and drive for one second. And in order to do that, you go into your control second, control section, and you're gonna grab a weight block. Now, when you drag and put that weight block underneath here, that's telling your robot to execute these commands. So drive your motors at 100 power and keep doing it for one second before it looks for the next command. Okay, so that's how that works. Any codes above a weight block will keep running for however long you tell it. So we're just gonna do one second now the next thing I'm gonna do is I actually want my motors to stop so that way my robot doesn't slip or drift or anything like that. So we need to specifically tell it to stop. And in order to do that, I need to grab two motor codes. One, two, change it to M1 and M2. And I'm gonna leave the speed at zero because zero speed means your robot stops the motors. They're not spinning at all. And I'm gonna tell it to stop for one second okay so our robot should go forward then stop for one second then once it gets to the top of the square we need it to turn right so in order to turn right we're gonna use a spin turn which we which means one motor is gonna be spinning forward the other mo motor is gonna be spinning at the same speed in the opposite direction so one's going forward one's going backwards that'll cause your robot to spin and in order to do that we're gonna grab our two motor codes again one two make sure it says m1 and m2 and we want it to turn right so we need our left motor to go full speed right because that's our left side it's going to turn right and our right motor to go in reverse so negative 100 okay and then we need to tell it how long we need it to turn for right because we only need it to turn a set distance now when you're using time to control your robot it's not going to be super super accurate but this will get us kind of to make a square, you know, just so we get the idea of what we're trying to do, right? They, remember this robot is very user friendly. It's meant to be easy. Um, so as long as students are kind of understanding the idea of how to structure code, that's what we're going for here, right? So we're gonna grab the weight block, which is in the control section. And I've already kind of tested this. So with the robot that I have built, it's about 0 0.45 seconds, okay? And that'll make it turn about 90 degrees. Um, your robot 
maybe 0 0.5 you know you can try different different numbers here to get it as close to 90 degrees as you want okay and then the last thing you need to do if you i i like putting a um another stop block here because if not it's just going to go straight into after it turns 90 degrees it's going to try to go forward and your robot's going to slip again so we want it to stop before it repeats the top commands again. So I'm gonna grab my two motor blocks, just like I did right here. M1, M2, leave them at zero. And then I will have my robot wait for one second. And that will give us a clean looking square, okay? So from here, I would just connect my robot. All right, so I'm gonna grab my robot. I'm gonna plug it in. Should hear a sound. Yeah, that little beep means it's connected. I'm gonna click connect. Connect and upload. And as soon as this gives me 100%, I'll disconnect and test this robot out. Now, you know, a good thing to do is to write down when you find out what the, uh, the amount of time you need to turn to get a nice clean 90 degree turn. You want to write that down in your notes so that way you have it for future codes, right? And as you get better, right, you already know how to make your robots go straight now. You should kind of know how to turn your robot left and right now after this code. You know, you just kind of just play around and just add new things, add new tricks, right? And that's how you get better at coding. So we're going to go ahead and test this. Um, so this is the complete the square code.